another, another video. I hope you have, I hope you have an amazing time right now. Because it is time for another dream, dream imagination video. Where I let you guys experience a dream that I had a few nights ago in your perspective, okay? So, and in this dream, it's basically going into some secret room and ending up being arrested or something like that. So, well, without further ado, let's, let's begin your imagination experience, okay? So your dream starts, okay, you are, you are at some food court and you are waiting in line for some food and you just wait in line for food, you wait in line for food and there is, it's pretty busy, it's pretty busy, there's a lot of people talking, a lot of people talking. And things are getting busy. It's super busy right now. And you just decide to have a snack or something at the small. And somehow you wanted to try this new, this new flavor. And you are, it's basically a flavor of a food of like a hot dog. But somehow you kind of forget what it is. It's like a hot dog in a bun. But you, it has like a new flavor. You've got, it's not like a mustard. It's not like ketchup. It's not mayonnaise. But it's some um, magical blue fluid with red. It's like a blue sauce and a red a bit of red in it. And you don't. I don't think this actually exists in real life. So, yeah, in, in this dream, he basically asked, asked the person who was working there, which is if what's the new flavor or something, but basically it's very unknown and the guy there just doesn't say anything so you basically decide to try the new flavor and then you actually after eating it you feel really strong you eat this hot dog you feel much stronger and much stronger that you can really really walk without getting tired and you somehow leave the food court and you end up you end up walking really 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 fast to some there is like a building that you're in the building that contains the food court is very big all right and this food court is located in the first floor or something you don't know how many floors this building has okay but this food court is very big so you go you somehow you somehow you go to this upper floor and you reach some sort of balcony for some reason you are very strong and you can bust through any door even on, even on employees only or reserved areas or something or only for personnel or something. And you go upstairs to this floor that has this huge balcony, okay. in this huge, 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 huge
huge balcony, okay? And there is this beautiful orangey sunset with a few clouds that shine bright orange, yellowish bright orange. And you're really, really, really feeling calm right now. And it is super, super calm. Okay. So you decide, you decide, you then decide to explore a bit further. You notice that there are more floors above you. Like this building that you're in has like 30 or so floors, but you don't remember exactly how many floors. So, he somehow climbed, or some sort, you don't know how, but you basically kind of climb, a mix of climbing, and, or some sort, but you totally forgot how. You just end up at the higher floors, and you are now at some sort of higher balcony. Okay. But, yeah, you don't know the method of getting up there. You just maybe climbed or something, maybe along the wall or through an elevator. You just forget the that's the part where you forget your dream and you end up at that balcony. So there's two balconies or something that you are in. You're in this, there's this major balcony and there's this second balcony. So as you are at the second balcony, you decide to go inside, to go inside the floor that you are. Keep in mind, it's very higher. It's one of the higher, 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 higher floors, okay? As you come inside, you see this really, really pretty room. Well, not pretty, but super sophisticated. It has a lot of computers. It has a lot, like, the walls are metal. And it seems like you are some sort, you are at like a government office building like for some reason there are like basically a lot of papers a lot of computers and a main table at the front with a few flags or something and there's this main big picture of some sort of or, or something like it's like a courtroom that you are in and you don't know what the room is but it feels like you're not supposed to be there. Okay. So it feels like you're not supposed to be there. And then you are, you are, you are experiencing some sort of like you are not, you're not, you're not allowed to be here or something. So you, you feel like you want to explore. You're just pretty, 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 pretty curious, pretty curious, pretty curious. So you explore deeper. The floor is carpet. There's a lot of computers, and the computers are very high tech. And you somehow explore around this government building or something that you are inside. So suddenly, you see this tall man with a black suit like maybe he's a black or gray but like a he has like a tie or some sort like he is very professionally dressed and then he says he says get out or you'll be trespassed or something and i said no like i'm not trespassing and the guy said you're not supposed to be or something like that, you don't remember exactly, but you know for sure he's threatening that you will be trespassed or something. So this is some sort of calendar. It is very, very old. 
yeah, well, it's till 2024, but So, you are, you are, you are, you are getting really, you're not feeling good, you're not feeling easy, you're not feeling easy, okay. And this guy is, like, basically threatening to, to, to report you or something for trespassing or something. So basically, in other words, he says, he says GTFO, basically, in other words, he doesn't say that, but in other words, he's implying GTFO, you're not supposed to be here, okay. So, you somehow ignore him, and you decide to continue exploring this, this government room or something, like a top secret room. So as you explore and looking at every computer, seeing, trying to like access it, you somehow hear this alarm that sounds, it's like an alarm that plays from a video game, like this nuke alarm or something, you know, you know, the beeping noise that you hear and then like the radio alarm is sounding or something oh no and you see red lights flashing or something and you got freaked out so as soon as you hear that alarm you decide that is the cue to GTFO and get out of here okay so you make your way through the door and you head back outside into the balcony. And right off the bat, you see a few officers. You don't know, but it's like a few, a handful, like two or three. And they come right after you as soon as you head out. As soon as you head out, they come straight at you as if they're waiting to get you. And... And they all tackle you. They all tackle you and put you down and put you down. They all tackle you and put handcuffs in you. And they said, you are arrested for breaching into a top secret government building or some sort or some sort of office but you don't know once again you don't know ex exactly what they said but you said that you you're not supposed to be here you are arrested for being trespassing into this top secret office or something and so, you are taken away, and after that, you wake up. Your dream kind of ends there. You don't know exactly what happened after they put the handcuffs in your back. You don't even remember what kind of building was that. It was like this food court and then just in the higher floors are like top secret no entry top secret buildings or top secret floors that you're not supposed to go to okay and so that's the end of this dream imagination experience and your dream is over So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you do enjoy this video. If you get your tingles, if you get your ASMR tingles, please give this video a thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. I make ASMR formatted videos for your tingles. 
recently I've been making dream imagination videos and I'm based on the views I am pretty sure you are enjoying it and I'm glad and I really appreciate you guys watching this content and so I also make some sort of gameplay ASMR videos as well as coding ASMR videos which you can look at in my channel and so have a good day everyone and I'll see you next time